All right, so one of the other questions that I get quite often is like, okay, you're putting this on the outside of the house, you're putting on the roof, the walls underneath the slab. We're in the south, it's a wet climate zone. What about water? So does rock wall disintegrate like it, like fiberglass does when water hits it? Do you have to replace it? Is it rendered useless at that point? Like what happens to rock wool when it gets wet? If it's fully saturated, you're not, you're not getting anything effective out of it. You might have something, but it doesn't, I mean, yeah. at that point you have other bigger problems than our value, you know. But it doesn't fall apart though, no. when it gets wet. No, I mean, it's the rocks. So what, what happens with rocks under non water that's not moving? So like in a riverbed, yeah, it's gonna tumble and, yeah. you know. But yeah, it's, it, it is a, they call it hydrophobic or whatever. I mean, it means it's, it's got incredible drying potential. So it'll just, the, it, it wicks moisture. Like you, if we spray water on the surface of this, it'll, it'll just, just run down, down the down. surface and it won't, it won't, it takes a lot for it to, you have to be in contact with it for a long time for it to actually soak it up. And that only is an issue below grade. If you have water going toward your foundation, you're not sloping away properly mm -hmm. that water, or if you have a high water table, you know, it, then you need to manage that water. First of all, you need Got to it. get it away from the foundation with foundation drainage systems and drainage mats and things like that. But if it was unexpected, it's been there for 20 years and foundation drainage wasn't available, yep. whatever. Yeah. If water's saturating it, it's going to lose its R value. So you just get the water away from it. But if it dries out, it's going to be perfectly useful again. You know, it's, it's, but the thing about below grade, it's back before we leave below grade, below grade, yes. Yeah, so we get that, we get a lot of questions about, well, what about, you know, below all that wet dirt and that, well, again, if you manage the moisture to keep it away from the foundation, it's going to be in contact with dirt that's, that's going to be damp, but that amount of moisture is not going to Got cause, it. cause any degradation or it's not going to really lose any R value from that. It's, and so when you go above grade, what we're really talking about, again, where it becomes at risk is when it's saturated, soaking in water. And the only time that happens is if you have a building failure that's so great, the roof has been ripped off from a storm, water is saturating. Even then, the roof is sloping, the water's going to drain away, good. you know, but you have bigger problems than that. Day-to-day -day humidity, things like that, never going to be a problem. You know, airborne moisture and vapor. Yep is never going to degrade the product. Like for instance, if you have an insurance claim, sometimes certain products that get wet, the, yeah. the adjuster comes out, is like, just tear it out, yeah. replace it with yeah. the rock. Well, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I believe the same thing for the, the bats on the inside of the house right. as well. Yeah. That can get wet, dries out, it's fine. Keeps its, keeps its shape, which, which is very important. That's right. Cause this stuff is pretty thick. I mean, this is not, yeah. this is not bad insulation. This, this, yeah, this bats, is, yeah, this stuff is, is a lot, lot denser out on the outside yep. this is a this is a, a rigid stone wool and then the stuff you put in the cavities is a bat but it's still more rigid and that does hold its shape the sagging doesn't happen you know like yep. the sagging in the walls doesn't happen at the same rate as say fiberglass or cellulose or other products um, but it I mean there might be some over a long period of time and it's but it's it's very it is rigid and yes if it does get wet it can dry out Yep. doesn't mean it will. It has to do with the wall assembly and, and making sure that you've built the assembly yep. in the right way. Control layers are correct. You didn't put a vapor barrier that blocks moisture from being able to allow that moisture to get out. So yes, as long as it's the, the assembly is built properly, you allow it to dry, then yes, it will dry out. And, it, and even if it does get wet, if that insulation... Fiberglass is the same way. All those yep. other insulations the same way. As long as it, it can get a little bit wet, Fiberglass is more susceptible. Yeah. It's more, it's weaker because it can hold the moisture longer and it can. It's like it, cotton it, candy. When yeah. It gets wet. It'll degrade faster. If, but if the stuff in the wall, if rock wool gets saturated, if there's a yeah. major plumbing leak in the wall, that same insulation can just dry out and be put yep. back in. It, it, but if you're opening up, you're putting so good to go. new stuff. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, yeah, like just the, as a by itself, if you never touch it, as long as it dries out, it's, it's in good shape.